Nine Steps of War. Maybe and he's gonna have to fix his race. There he goes. Okay. That that's that's interesting because we've seen Kyukaki be very aggressive so far in these PVPs. Um, Minigun, uh, in his PVPs as well, was getting out really quick warp gates. So both players have been getting very fast warp gates. This is, on Steps of War, this is going to be kind of a battle of seeing who can get their warp gate up faster. Um, <laughs> because, you know, with Steps of War, you expect that there's going to be rushes, there's going to be pressure. Um, I don't know if the no cannon rushing rule is still going to apply. Mm. Uh, Minigun <laughs> uh, might I break that I'd little like bit of a pact. Um, yeah, I'd like to see a Gosu cannon rush here if... Uh... If, they, if one of them could pull it off, if anybody, it'll be one of these players as uh, Kiwi Kaki is going to get the southwestern spawn and then the northwestern spawn. Mini is the red Protoss, Kiwi Kaki in yellow, of course. Um, so we are going to see it is on Steps of War. This is game two of the best of five. This is the gold game, the first second place game here. The winner of this game takes home a cool $200. Um, the second place, and the not too much of a loser of this game, does take home a cool $100. Um, the prize pool was completely sponsored by Justin TV. Um, so a special shout out to them. Thanks for putting on this uh, this awesome event, helping us get it off the ground. Um, as well as running an awesome channel. As you guys can see, it's been uh, running pretty smoothly, and um, we're really happy to be here working with Justin TV. And, and anybody that is looking to do future streaming, please check them out. Um, as it's actually pretty simple, you just download two programs and uh, away you go once you create your account. So it's a pretty straightforward process. And um, both players, a uh, little bit of an earlier gateway for Kiwi started. Mini going to answer, though, really shortly in turn. And uh, Kiwi doing a roundabout his base first just to check for anything too, too crazy as he does. Going to check his low ground as well and then probably push out here into uh, <laughs> Mini's base. Mini's going straight for Kiwi, not really worried about any any crazy cheese or anything like that. Yeah, and that's what you do when, you're play when your opponent checks steps, picks Sex of War. You pick all... You blah, 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 blah. When your opponent pick Steps of War. You check all the proxy locations. Um, because it's like Steps of War, okay? Unless it's cats and you know what's coming, um, <laughs> then you gotta make sure that y your opponent isn't trying to do something sneaky. Um, so we do see that the Cybernetic score here is much faster than Miniguns. Uh, <laughs> he has not dropped his second pylon yet, so he he's cutting that second pylon just to get the Cybernetics core faster, and you can see that that made a pretty significant difference in their uh, core timings. So, so far, Kiwikaki is winning the battle of who gets first here in Steps of War, which is kind of what I was saying, you know, when your opponent picks steps, you gotta expect aggression. So Kiwikaki's making sure he's gonna get warp gates very quickly. He's gonna be able to not only defend against any aggression, but on this map, if Minigun doesn't go for an aggressive play, Kiwikaki can just turn around and put pressure on him because he's uh, having to use an aggressive build here just to make sure he doesn't lose. Yeah, exactly. It's going to come down to um, making sure that he can hold Kiwi. And again, um, honestly, as we've seen in the last couple of games, Kiwi Kaki is just the man to be able to do less with more. So Mini is going to throw down two more gateways really quickly as his uh, his Chrono Boosts are going pretty much to his warp gates. Did you um, mean more with less? Sorry, more with less. <laughs> the man of more with less is Kiwi Kaki. Sorry, I got that backwards. The less is more. Um, but yeah, no, Kiwi's going to take uh, his defensive positions as Mini is setting up a forward proxy pylon. He's going to push forward with Stalker Zealot. I'm um, going to check the southern... Yeah, he is going to check oh, his high ground. Oh, he's going to find it. Yeah, Kiwi just scouts out See, on the high ground. Kiwi's, really good. Kiwi's smart. a ninja. He can't sneak yeah. anything by him. He knows everything. Yeah. Uh, so fourth gateway's on the way for Minigun. Kiwi Kaki's going for three. So he's still holding with the I'm going to beat you with less units kind of style. But once again, uh, his gateways didn't finish too much before miniguns, finishing at just about the same time. Uh, so we do have a bit of an engagement going on in the middle of the map. Kiwi Kaki is being forced back. He might lose that stalker if he's not careful, but somehow it does manage to sneak through. And Mini taking out the, the probe instead of trying to put damage onto the stalkers. One of them is very low. And uh, Kiwikaki looks like he's going to be falling back into a more defensive posture here and uh, trying to hold off the aggression here from Minigun. But we saw him hold four gates with two, and now yeah. he's on three, so 
Let's see how it goes this time. Yeah, Mini is not able to reinforce uh, as easily as he wants to until that pylon finishes. He is trapped. He's losing a lot of stalkers here. Um, and just, yeah, Kiwi Kaki is just able to make everything he wants happen. Um, really, really control the game as uh, now Minigun is forced back to the center of the map. Um, his four gates are pretty much going to be um, not able to break this. He's not able to break Kiwi Kaki like you would in a normal Protoss, of course. Um, so Minigun is going to throw down his robotics, try to get his tech caught up. Um, but Kiwi Kaki is obviously following suit. Twilight Council opening again for him, so we will either see Dark Templar again, as we saw in the last two games actually from Kiwi Kaki, um, or at least the Blink tech here on a small map like that. Um, Blink research is just amazing. So Kiwi Kaki is just going to keep challenging Mini as he does oh. trade a probe for a Stalker, which is not a good trade here. Yeah, I would guess Blink, because his gas is a bit yeah. lower this time, um, and if he continues to warp in Stalkers and Sentries, he's not going to be able to afford dropping that Dark Shrine, because it is 250 gas, but he is getting up close there, so he might just do Dark Templars again. Um, yeah, realizing... Oh, no, there's there. the Blink, so... Yeah, there it is, perfect. Uh, oh, he only has one force field, though, so he's going to be... Oh, nice! A force yeah, offensive force field zealots. by Kiwi Kaki, trapping one of Minigun's zealots so he can kill it. Oh, my God. Oh, that that was... That's pretty funny, but you know what works out for him? He's going to drop a pylon on the low ground of Minigun. They're going to keep the pressure on him, and, you know, he's... Putting pressure on Minigun with one less gateway, and there it goes again! Again? <laughs> Just trading <laughs> units in the middle of, uh, of Minigun's ramp here until that Blink tech finishes, I think. Uh, obviously, lots of stalkers being reinforced by Kiwi, almost dedicated stalkers, so he is going to basically just continue to harass Mini. Um, and then as soon as this Blink tech oh. finishes, Minigun does have an Immortal now, though. Um, a very, very solid opening. Going to cause Kiwi Kaki a little bit of pause if Kiwi does get too aggressive. Um, does get pinned on the high ground there. Those uh, Immortals can chew Stalkers up, no problem. Oh, but look at this. Minigun is using that uh, pylon in the middle of the map, trying to sneak a unit past the forces of Kiwi Kaki. Really intelligent by him. Since all the engagement is going on here, he might be able to do some damage, but Kiwi Kaki sneaking the Zealots through, blinking up the ramp. Immortal goes, goes down. down. Robotics Bay is not done yet, so no sign of a Colossus for quite some time. Kiwi Kaki is doing a ton of damage. If he can take out these Stalkers, then the Zealots will be kited to death. Um, this looks like it could be a quick game. There it is! GG from Minigun! Kiwi Kaki going up 2-0. Only needs one more to win the series and the tournament. Kiwi Kaki. Nerf Kiwi Kaki. Seriously. He's overpowered. Absolutely. Mini did build that, uh, did build that cell hut. It didn't even make it <laughs> into the base, unfortunately, of Kiwi Kaki. It was stopped at the ramp as, uh, Kiwi just used that exact timing to push his zealots up. Um, followed by a great blink. Um, this, funny enough, the sentries of Kiwi Kaki were also able to sneak by the force field of Minigun. Um, so that was basically it. So it's uh, it's Kiwi Kaki 2-0 here, just in dominating fashion. Um, I don't know what to say other than the only person that's taken a game from Kiwi right now has been Greetorp in the first round that we saw. Um, yeah. Otherwise, he's just been playing just... Amazing start. That game was amazing. Yeah. Like, oh my god. 